And welcome back to another edition of the Pitch Putt and Puff Podcast. My name is Roger, a.k.a. RGB. Before we get cooking with the recap show tonight, just got to give a couple quick shout-outs to some sponsors. Uh, first and foremost, GolferCBD.com. Make sure you guys check out GolferCBD.com. Uh, use promo code PPP10 to save 10%. Uh, what Golfer CBD is trying to do, they have a bunch of different things. They have the performance spray, the recovery cream, the performance cream, as well as as well as the gummies. A um, couple of the boys got into the gummies this week, and I can tell you Steve went from shooting 96s and got himself down into the 80s this weekend. So it looked like his focus was a little bit a little bit back there uh, because of the gummies. So, um, yeah, they have a b- bunch of different things. Golf for CBD affects the body's receptors that manage our thought process, motor activity, resistance to stress and pain, as well as the basic system of the human body, such as the cardiovascular, immune, respiratory, and muscular functions. Golfer CBD may influence golfers' pain perception, response to inflammation, and perception of various sensations, such as stress. We all know about stress when you're lining up that three-footer for a bird. Uh, golfer CBD may positively affect the golfer's mood, motor functions, and the way they react to the environment, making Golfer CBD an essential tool of every golfer's course kit. Make sure you check them out. Like I said, PPP10 for 10% off at checkout. Also, we have 420 Bliss located at 740 Hoosick Road right in the Walmart Plaza. Make sure you stop in there, check them out. Let, no, let Ty and the crew know the boys, the Pitch Punt Puff crew sent you. A uh, bunch of different options up there. Flowers, pre-rolls, edibles, vapes, tinctures, you name it, they got it. So make sure you check them out. Uh, also, Trouble Off the Tee, troubleoffthetee.com, promo code RGB for 15% off, as well as promo code PUFF for buy one, get one free on the polos. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. I mean, polos are no joke. Great on the golf course, nice uh, dry fit material, so nice and nice and light out there, especially in these hot summer days. Uh, don't forget to check out the book, written by Marty Minden, narrated by Jake Adams from Country Club Adjacent, available on Spotify as well as Audible. We're going to take a quick break here, and then we're going to get into the recap show. The New York State Cannabis Festival is back on Saturday, June 22nd at the Broome County Fairgrounds in Whitney Point. Learn how to use cannabis both medically and recreationally from female leaders. Class spelling talent, meditation, yoga sessions, and more. Plus, stop by the Drink Like a Girl tent to sample New York State craft beer. Camping and glamping options are available. Tickets and info at NewYorkStateCannabisFestival.com. Cannabis carriers are encouraged to attend. Must be 20 and over. Hope to see you there. Welcome back to the Pitch Punt and Puff Podcast. My name is Roger, a.k.a. RGB. Uh, Going to hit you with a little Father's Day weekend recap. We had a busy weekend out there on the golf course. Uh, joining me today is my man, JR. What up, Jay? Jay, can you hear me? What up, man? And then we got uh, the Upstate Golf Guys are with us today. We got Anthony and Mikey. What's up, boys? What's going on? Yo, yo, yo. So, busy weekend out there. Busy weekend. Saturday, we had 12 guys. Uh, the RPI golf coach joined us. He was on the Upstate podcast with us a few about a month or so ago. Um, let's see. Kirk, we had the Father's Day. Mike and his son Kirk were out there in that group with Anthony, as well as, who was it? It was uh, myself, Bob, Fairway, and Anthony, the cart guy. He loves playing with us, dude. He has a blast playing with us, that kid. Yeah, he's pretty round- funny. Yeah, he's a good kid. And then to round it out was Jr. Steve, uh, Hank, and Parisi to finish out the group. So overall, Parisi shot a broke eighty, huh? Shot a seventy nine out there. Yeah, he's been due, man. He's got one of those. He's one of those guys who is really hit or miss. He was the low score of the day. Um, who else we got? Yeah, he was the low score with the seventy nine. Uh, coach had the, 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 an eighty. Coach had an eighty. Steve came in with the eighty one. That's uh, that's impressive for Steve. He's been struggling lately. Yeah, those guys were on fire. Uh, it was a good, it was a good little match. I shot an eighty-five. Jay, you were the eighty-eight, and then when we round off, uh, da, 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 da. I shot a ninety, I think, yeah, or you an were eighty-nine. Not, you were an eighty-nine. What did Bob shoot? I don't have six. Yeah, Bob won. He yeah, matched Bubba. up with uh, Coach, with right? Coach. Yeah, him and Coach. Eight, him and Coach, 80 and 86. Yeah, so Bob's, Bob's been winning a little bit this year. Coach was trying to buy me dinner with his winning money, but it was just too late. I wanted to get home. He said, come on, man. Dinner's on me, bro. 
<laughs> yeah, it was so funny. So I had tickets to the Firebirds. And I looked at the schedule. I'm like, oh, perfect. Game's at 8 o'clock. We'll go play golf. We'll go to the game. Me, Steve, and Brad went. The game started at 7 o'clock. We got there at halftime. Like, bro, we missed the whole fucking game pretty much. It was a shit show. Yeah. What is the fight? What like is the Firebirds now? What like conference division? I mean, what's the? I know it's, it's not the same arena a, league. It's what official, is it? It's official arena football league now. It's not. So what was arena. the um? What was the uh, ones that Antonio Brown just owned and got? What were they? Got those guys? So it was like the second. Well, it, when he had it, it was part of the arena football league. But the um another company bought the whole league basically. So. On that end, like they had to go through new ownership, it went bankrupt. Um, the guy used to announce Jaws, uh, Janikowski. What the hell's the guy's name for ESPN? He used to own it. He used to own the Philadelphia okay. Soul, and then he used to own. Then he ended up buying the uh, the whole AFL. Now Jed, uh, what the hell's the guy's name? Uh, he coached the Titans, Fisher, Jeff Fisher. Yeah, Fisher. He, he runs the whole AFL now. Dude, it's a so, cool. Uh, it's is a cool it, is it all? Is it all the same players that were on the Albany Firebirds with with Antonio Brown? Some. It's mixed. Some it's mixed of them? In. Yeah, because, like, with the arena football, a lot of teams fold. So when they fold, gotcha. up, guys start bouncing around. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, long story short, don't let Antonio Brown run your do football it. team. <laughs> exactly. Don't tell let him do about, anything. Tell, T- tell him about what he ordered through you, though. So, yeah, I got a little story about AB. So, um, <laughs> I never so, heard this, so this should be good. I just, uh, so he had just bought in the, uh, or I don't know if he actually owned him or what the deal was, but the announcement was made. And uh, I was following him on Instagram, and I literally just hit him up on in the Instagram story, and I was like, I was like, yo, man, I was like, <laughs> stop by and bring me some tickets, and I'll help promote for you. And he literally, like, responded within, like, Three minutes, dude. The dude's probably constantly on his phone. I was like, "Oh shit, dude!" Antonio <laughs> Brown just responded to me. It's just crazy. <laughs> so then, like, I started talking to him, telling him a little bit about how his dad coached our school at Tamarack. Uh, he was not only the football coach but a basketball coach. And AB used to actually be running around like as a little kid at Tamarack with his little brothers. So I told him that, and he got a kick out of it. And he was like, "Yo, man, where you at? I'm gonna come see you." And I was like, I got all excited. I told Brad, I told Brad and uh, Mikey, I'm like. Yo, Antonio Brown's coming to see me, this and that. So now, like, three or four days come by. I'm like, yo, there's, like, a game. So then there was, like, a game that weekend. I'm like, yo, are you going to come by and, like, bring me some tickets? I'll give some away. This was when he was, like, giving all the tickets away to, like, the high school kids when he went over to, like, that park in Albany. So uh, he was like, he was like, get a hold of my assistant. So now, like, he gives me this guy's phone number. I'm like, and I'm I'm just like, I literally just wanted some tickets, some free tickets at this point. So, uh so I, I messaged, I text this guy, and he's like, yeah, he's like, where are you at? I'm like, I'm, uh, you know, right up by the Capitol. I have a store uh, on Washington Avenue. He's like, oh, he's like, you got a store? I'm like, yeah. He's like, so you could get me them blunts? And I was like, <laughs> uh, I was like, uh, yeah, you know, I'm like, I could probably get a good deal on the blunts. I'm like, you know, I'm, I could hook you up or whatever. <laughs> he's like, and we need that Arizona tea, too. He was like, I swear to God, dude. So I said. Uh, I went out my way. I ordered it. He needed one backwoods. <laughs> I didn't get the tea. Ordered backwoods thinking I'm going to, like, meet A, B, and his assistant. They're going to come up, take a picture of me. Dude's never showed up, ever. So I just I ended, up having, I ended up having to send the backwoods back. These dudes never even showed up. They're like, I ain't showing up for this dude. I was just pulling his fucking A, B. Bro, that, that guy was here for three months. He came half the city of Albany. I mean, right. fuck. I know. I know. But he wouldn't come. he wouldn't come see me. And I had backwards for him and everything. There's a kid I knew who was who was like his assistant for a little while, and he's one of the guys who went to the restaurant and then they left and didn't pay the bill and all. This yeah, shit. dude, they were fucking everybody over, dude. <laughs> it was crazy. They really were. It was crazy. So let's talk about some of the highlights. You, what happened? Where were some of the highlights out of your guys' room on Saturday? Man, coach shoots darts. That yeah. dude, he has just such a nice, easy swing. Dude, you know where he was? Silk. Where he was losing his strokes, bro. Every you know where he was losing his strokes, right? Button, button. Yeah, he didn't know the greens, <laughs> dude. He didn't know the. If I'm telling you right now, he should have shot in like. He, he never played for your par. He hasn't played in 20 years. Brand new course okay. for him. So, uh, I mean, what was it? Six? The softball field hole. He only had like a four, three or four footer for birdie, and uh, totally misjudged it. Ran to the bottom of the green. 
Um, what was the other one? Two, he was shaking his head at. I mean, beautiful. He was saying these greens are beautiful, but, man, they're tough. Yep. Um, but that dude, he just shoots darts. He's, he's really good. Uh, he threw a couple of birdies in there. Dude, I hit, I hit a new dude, guy, his too. swing. Go on, Mike. His swing is so smooth as silk, dude. It reminds it me of Ernie Els. Like, he's not even he, swinging. He really don't even look like he's – yeah, he's just smooth and just uh, – and, and the ball just goes, bro. And it's funny. It he'll ask goes. me, like, what's a good – he goes, what's a good landing spot? He's like, where should I, you know, attack the green from? And, like, I would tell him, like, the areas – and he literally puts it there. He's so accurate off the tee, dude. He's so, like so, – It's crazy like, you saying that because, like, with fairway – like, think about it, though. We all try to crush the ball. We all try to hit it, like, super far and do this and that. And Fairway, literally, I've been calling him my swing coach all week. He yelled at me, like, three times last week. He goes, you got to fucking change something, man. He goes, you keep hitting the same shot, man. You got to change something. So I'm like – and I said it to JR the other day. I said, yo, Jay, just like you're, like, in a batter circle and you're literally just taking a practice cut, just walk up and hit the ball like that. Dude, I started doing that, and I've been finding the fairways a little bit more consistent until the seventh hole I – on Sunday, it's a whole different story. I, my card blew up like I someone to fucking. I was a suicide bomber, dude. It was so bad. It was awful. Oh my god. Yeah, I was even, or I was plus three going into seven. So I'm I'm on pace for like a high thirties round. Then I went eight, eight, five to finish for like a forty-seven. <laughs> blew and yo, and it, it, as Jay, it was a quiet like three over. Like it was a birdie. Bogey or par, par, like it was just quiet, quiet. I'll tell you what, you know who to look out for in the next couple of years is that Kirk kid. Kirk takes <laughs> the shit out of the ball, man. Dude, he is coming. Not only is he hitting the shit out of the ball now, but like he's making that clean contact on irons, and uh, he's got that like piss missile sound when the ball takes off now because he's got so much power behind it. Yep. I mean, I think he hits his like eight iron, like one seventy. He was saying when he hits it good. Um, He's just uh, he's he's learning the game quick, very short game. quick. Short game is gonna be the toughest part for him because he's going he's going. But he's the even learning that pretty pretty. Yeah. His his chipping game was on point the other day. He nailed a couple putts. He just lipped out a couple putts. Mikey, that kid, I I was I wasn't joking with you, the man. I'm sorry to say, buddy. I think he's past you and he ain't looking Dude. back now. He ain't looking back. <laughs> he's, it, nah. Absolutely, that's what happens when you get out once a week. Yeah. But gets, that's also what gets, happens when he he's got thirty. Free. He's got uh, also what happens when he got twenty five years uh, on him as well. So, uh, and that's uh, kind of where I think with Jr. right now. I think that's your problem, Jay. You're I only, I'm not playing right now. You only play and, it once a week. And the kid and the kid can bench press you, you, and you, and you <laughs> all combined. Right. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, but golf is tough. Like sometimes it's when you're playing that once a week, you, you two, Steve. It's tough. Like you, Bob, even Bob's playing Fridays a little bit, but nine holes on. I a feel Friday like I'm stuck. Not, yeah, there's yeah. nothing I can do. I mean, really, we should all be going to the range at least one night a week after work. But I hate the range. It's so boring to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't want to I mean, spend twenty dollars when I can go spend twenty dollars. <laughs> exactly. No, I know. Yeah, but dude, at the range is where you really can work on. You know those draws and uh, those fades and uh, one thing. All right, so Matt was telling me about uh, his wedge game, and this is so huge. And I didn't even think about that. He literally has three wedges he uses, but he has three different shots with each wedge. He uses the Bryson DeChambeau uh, clock system. Uh, he's got the nine o'clock, or what was it? This uh, six o'clock, or no nine? I think o'clock, it's like 11, eleven o'clock and twelve o'clock, whatever it is. And each one back for each wedge is like. 50 yards, 60 yards, 70 yards, and 70 yards, 80 yards, 90 yards. It might even be within, like, five yards. So he said, I literally learn my wedges. People don't learn their wedges enough. He said they don't, um, The you know, a full. everybody could go out there and do their full swing seven iron, and they know they're going to hit it 155, 160, or whatever. That's, you know, what I hit it. But uh, but he's right, man, that those wedges are with a half swing wedge. you got to know your distance. And uh, I, I, I sucked a lot in from Coach. You, you taught me a lot just – in that round. Well, that's one thing early in the early in the season. Jay was like, one thing people can really do to improve it. Um, figure out your distance of your wedges and your irons. That's going to make such an impact on your short game for you. Like When you know you can hit your 60 degree 100 yards and you can go out there and full swing your 60 degree, like that makes a big difference for you. When you're, Then you start playing course management 
to kind of what I was doing the other day until I blew up. You start, okay, I'm not going to make it there with my three wood right now. So why don't I hit my nine iron to put me 100 yards out so now I can use my 60 where I'm full swing 60 and I'm comfortable with that shot. Like, it's stuff I never thought about. I'm, I was always the guy, let's see how far I can hit it and get it close to the pin as fast as I can. It's totally not that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm always trying to try to get to my seven. I'm trying to always get to that, like, 150 marker. That's that's when I'm playing in competition. I uh, I broke the hybrid out off the tee a bunch uh, this yesterday i i used that three wood i kept the driver in the bag a lot um we were we were struggling yesterday with some some pace of play again uh, Bro, every like, week you say that it's every it's week. it's uh i i just don't even know what to say anymore it's it's great competition it's never out. gonna change dude it it's ain't not. never gonna change it's not listen it's we always got gonna, a box for you guys i don't know it's always gonna be an eight hour jaunt yeah, these guys go spend two hundred dollars on a weekend when they can go spend you know a couple bucks in Freer. Get a season pass at that point. Go play all the time with the boys. Get in the Friday league. Be full time members of the pitch yeah. button puff in the Legends Golf Group. <laughs> I'm not I'm playing not. five and a half hour. Nothing. Nothing. I'm leaving at that point. At like four forty five, I'm out. And I'm it's taking someone tough. else's ball, it, and I'm going home. It, it, I'm going to go it, pick up whoever's in front of me. Here's the ball thing, Raj. All these play. people, everybody's, everybody looks for their lost ball for too long is the bottom line. I talked to Adam last night about it. Um, he just can't, He said I keep it. He's like, I tell everybody. He goes, I don't know how many times I have to tell people. Um, and they just think it's not your. it's just not your average day out there golfing. It is a competition. It is a big tournament play. So, People spend way too long looking for so that lost ball. Set, someone in the group has they to have to. As I told Adam, you got to start penalizing them. You got to start doing something because then it just bottlenecks and just backs up, backs up, backs up. And uh, dude, it was so backed up yesterday. So Where'd you guys play? Where'd you guys play? Saratoga Lake. Okay. Um, it it was a beautiful day at least, and I had yeah, good, it was. I had it good was. company. I had real good out. company. Uh, me both, and Mike were chilling. Both days were gorgeous. Um, but uh, yeah, the all, I mean, the only thing that kills me is you get out of your groove, man. You hit a good drive, and then you go up to your ball and you stand there in the middle of the fairway for ten minutes. I can't play that, um, dude. Can't it was play. literally five to ten minutes. And every I don't know. Shot. Again, like I don't know if it was the group in front of. I think it could have been the group in front of us because it could have been the group in front of them. I think it just all bottles. And, I think it. Yeah, it was. It, it was, was a snowball. Thing. There was certainly times when the group in front of us was waiting necessarily. Uh, for the group in front of them. So I don't know what the group in front of us was doing as well. It's it's just uh Good. Well you guys on Saturday were fucking two holes behind us. So I don't know. But we was also doing. weren't holding I don't think we were really holding JR up too. We that, did actually at was, one point. That that there was, was coach giving him lessons on <laughs> <his> <laughs> like, We should have went last. We should have oh, went it, last. It, it, <laughs> for real. What's that, Jay? I said we caught up a little bit, but I don't think it got too bad to where it was like a problem. No, uh, coach was giving me a bunch of lessons. It wasn't like that. No, there was one hole where actually there was there one was a hole couple holes where I looked back and he was showing me. I'm like, no, let's go off. These guys are coming. Um, yeah, but you guys. I pull up Saturday. Anthony's there. He's got Adam, who's a scratch golfer, Jay. Give him, <laughs> giving him chipping tips, and he's playing with a scratch golfer in his cart, the RPI coach. I'm like, this guy's got a hustle, hustling us all today. And I still didn't beat any of you. No, you did all right, though. You beat a couple of guys in the group. Um, I'm doing everything great except for chipping, and I kind of fixed that. Um, liking how my game is at right now. If I, I put... I'll just get into a funk with putting some holes, but, like, my putting has been really, really good. It's been saving me a lot of strokes to where I could be ending up with nines and tens, but I'm luckily sneaking out with a six or seven on some of these holes, man. It's oh, tough. Man. I sunk one on, uh, what was that, par on the goalie hole. I sunk, like, a eight-footer into the shadows, the other, or 12-footer into the shadows the other day. Jay, yeah. you were with me in that group, I think. I uh, I went, I went for the green again on that hole, and I fucking put it out of bounds. OB <laughs> hit three off the tee. I can't do that every time. No. Nope. That's a tough one. Yeah, ball, you did. I didn't do nothing on Saturday. I shot the worst 88 of my life. This shit was Eight. so fucking ugly, bro. I probably, 88. Probably is... like 20%. <laughs> like, Gers was probably like 15%. Like You were scrambling. Scrambling and... Dying for an 88, dude. But still, it's score. This, see, Jay, but like, that's the thing. Like, you're shooting, you're playing like shit, and you're still shooting in the 80s, bro. 
get high 80s and I'm playing like shit. Imagine if I hit a drive over like 200 yards instead of snap hooking everyone. Every single one, dude. dude like, What's going on? What's the plan long. for Wednesday, Raj? So, Jay, are you trying to play Wednesday? No, yeah. it's going to be like 96, bro. And I, I'm probably going to have to – um. Dude, 96 Move is a couple an understatement. Things, I think. Yeah, on yeah Rod, we might be canceling, buddy. We we'll, we have it booked, but we'll just. You're see gonna how it cancel goes. because it's too hot, buddy. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's supposed to be a. I don't care. For heat index, bro. Right. Cool. Bring some water, bro. <laughs> we sit in the winter. We sit in the freeze our ass off. This is no, so you got, better. Um... You better bring yourself a defibrillator. Yeah. Hey man. Hey man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the ball's gonna fly though. <laughs> oh, dude, the hit. ball's gonna fly. So three three hundred yards plus. You better yes. lift the, you better wear a shirt like that. You're gonna be even worse. I'm gonna wear my Jamaica. I'm gonna I'm gonna wear my fucking sleeveless Jamaican tank top, baby. Let's go. Yeah. For your heart, <laughs> Troy what? I'll fit right in, Troy. I, d- his arms gonna I, be after a I double dog dare you to show up in a speedo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, god. So, uh, uh, dog dare you. So did you guys watch the wrap ups of golf here? Did you guys watch um what happened? The Shambo win? The Shambo and Rory. Wow. Dude, that was insane. You mean, watched, like, you last, mean like, did you see home. Rory? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. That was dude, I didn't... he bogeyed three out of his last four holes with two missed three foot putts, less than three foot putts. Man, he was probably just happy his wife didn't divorce him. Oh, no, but, yo, all was, that money. No, he was leaving her for the the uh, the reporter. He was rumored to be smashing the reporter chick from the golf golf network or whatever. Yep. <laughs> and they and they reconciled or something yeah, yeah. They, went, they went and hung out together with their daughter and he probably gave she probably you know helped give we got too much money to lose we can't yeah. do this right right yeah so, but uh but yo that bunker shot from 55 yards that to like three feet is crazy dude so when crazy. he hit it there i was like oh fuck he's screwed and then he sticks it i'm like yo he's got this locked up once you make a shot like that you know like that's gonna be this. It's your day. It's your fucking day when you make a shot like that. Dude, sure. I hate. I hated Bryson so much. What, Fedora, is, Fedora, Bryson. I hated him. I hated exactly, Fedora. Yeah. exactly. He was a dick then, dude. Dude, me and Brian AP just, up. just had this conversation uh, yesterday. We were talking last night. We were talking about it, and I was like, bro, like something about him. Like I didn't like that Fedora version of him. Like it wasn't. Like I felt like he was being fake, dude. But now it's like, all right. Who is it? To, yeah, the the bulking, like the bulking up, the bulking up. D- Bryson was was so cheesy, right? It, it was so fake. But now, now he's like, now he's genuine, dude. I like what he's doing with the kids. You even see what he did with the um with the, the trophy. kid in the wheelchair. No, no, he went in the that trophy. Was awesome, he went and, and, My uh, buddy Brian, man. Are these the guys? Hold on, Jay. We went and. Uh, he went and took the trophy, and he said the fans were such a big part of this. Like, you let him touch fans. it. Yeah, that was dope, man. That's cool shit. Like, people bought it. He had he, do that. he had it in the bunker with him, didn't he? Yeah, with that yeah. guy. I was just the, seeing highlights. The reporter it. guy. Did you guys see the reporter guy that with yeah, the he, mustache? He, 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 went, rip- raked, he raked the whole he, bunker and shit. Oh my god, he is he is cool as shit, dude. It's he all, changed he, his ways. He is he is totally one eighty. Yeah, because me and y'all. In Me the, and Andy um, went and seen him at Liberty National, and and he was like having people kicked Brooksy! out. <laughs> he I'm was Brooksy! having people kicked out, bro. Fucking, are you his? Tell 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 that story about the security detail. Ah, uh, he they, he had two dudes following him around with guns on their hip, and I and we they were right next to us, what? and said said to one of them, "Yo, are you guys Bryson's private?" And they were like, "No, no, no, no." no. No, he looked at you and like did like the Will Ferrell. No, wow. that's about three holes later. We see them grabbing a kid and escorting him out. We get over to that area and the people were all like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." There was a kid that just yelled Brooksy to him, and they just escorted him out. Wow. So, Bryson so. was having people thrown out just for yelling Brooksy, dude. That was it. So dude, he was a little bitch. That's, yeah, to, that's a little bitch shit. Everybody loves him. Now they Loves do. Him. Loves it. 
Right. There was a video of him like at his Airbnb in the neighborhood, and he like hung out with the people in the neighborhood like after too with the trophy, let them all like touch it and shit and hold it. That's dope. See, that's yeah, so he's, cool, man. He, he's a good cat, man. He's growing the game definitely. You got to make yourself more related, relatable to the regular people. Like you can't be that bougie. Like you just got to be relatable, and you can make so much more money. Like in advertisements. Now I guarantee people. When, all the other sponsors see that. I mean, he's already got every single one he probably wants, but that's the type of shit they're going to jump on. And they're going to give him the bonuses and pay him more. And come out. I guarantee you if he signed with Nike or whoever, he's going to come out with a, his own cleat line now. So, you know, the golf shoe line and shit like that. Like, I that's think how he's it with works, Foot Joy so. now. Yeah, so now he'll have his own Foot, foot Joy shoe and all this, with the trophy on it and all this other bullshit. Like, that's the type of shit you can do when you're a people person like that. Mm-hmm. O- yep. Opposed to a fucking asshole, and you're not going to sell tickets, and you're not going to sell shoes and all this other shit. Dude, he's blowing YouTube up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blowing it up. Nice and Paige Sporanek is blowing him up. Yeah, she yeah. loves you know, it. They always play, they play a bunch of shit you see on there. Yeah, Yo. they Sometimes. You think you think you think they uh you think he banged her or what? Probably. I bet they, they who knows, bro. They could be together on the low and people just you don't never know. know, dude. Right. <laughs> you know they make mean? a good couple, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Like, I mean, shit, someone's gonna go golfing with every day, that's perfect. There you go. Never right. complain about you being at the golf course and shit. You're all set. <laughs> that's, that's the life. Funny, man. That's the life. So uh, yeah, and we're gonna play Wednesday. Me, you, fairway. I'm playing Wednesday, so keep the tea time. Me, you, Fairway, and uh, Scrounge, because I know Scrounge ain't going to bitch out. It's no, too hot, I'm man. Playing. It's too I'm hot. playing, dude. I'm in. Jules will no, be out Scrounge. there slinging water. We'll be golden. I might be wearing this tank Scrounge top. bitches out playing. sometimes. Dude, yeah. you better, you guys drink, better drink a lot of water. No, no, I'm, I'm yeah. going to be, a, I got to go up to the warehouse before I go in, so I'll make sure I, I stock up. I'll get a cooler and I'll stock yeah, up. I was going to say, grab like a mini cooler, get some ice, get like yeah. a 12 pack of water in there. Yeah, it would be fine. Just dump it on your head every once in a while. Yeah, dude. Like cold I, I do got to say, Saturday was fun, man. Yeah, it was Especially awesome. with, with, with Coach. Coach. Coach is a yeah. good dude, man. I like him. Yeah, My group was it. actually all right because everybody played, like, decent, I think. So, like, he's, we were he's just in. vibing and, like, chilling and, like. But those guys, like, we were, like, thinking, like, what did they do? Like, bro, it was – they were playing that, like, boring golf shit, bro. <laughs> where they were, like, they hit a drive 250 – then they hit an iron on the green, and then they putted twice, and then like kind of just kept doing that. Yeah, but then, yo, that's the whole thing too. Like that's what I wanted, like the legends portion of this thing to be, like just go out there I, where I don't have to worry about who's playing with who. Like I literally looked at that card, I said, all right, I can put this dude with this dude, I can put this guy with this guy, I can do all this shit, and I don't have to worry. Like I know everybody's gonna go and get along. Like those guys are gonna click up. You guys are gonna click up. Mike, you obviously it was Father's Day weekend. I put you with your son. Like, and then Anthony was with his stepdad, the RPI coach. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we probably would have been closer to you guys even more if fucking Steve and Hank would ever shut up and yeah, fucking. That's the thing. Like, I have to be part. careful of that. I can't put two chatterboxes together. Coach, like that. yo, so coach, fix it up. coach thought he was coming to play around with us and get out and have a day off from coaching, and he ends up having to coach. He wanted to, bro. He I, wanted to. I know to. he did. I know he, he loved did. it. So listen, though, this is the but funny yeah. thing about Coach Raj. I gotta, just, I gotta tell you yeah, a little story. Ahead. The dude, like, was he expecting like to have twelve guys out there? Before no, I told him. Year? I told him. Okay. But he's, I, I mean, he may listen to this episode or he may not. But man, Coach, drop, drop the f word once or say shit. <laughs> even he's like, he's like the <laughs> gosh darn it kind of guy or. <laughs> Like, yeah. he has a bad shot, and he's like, shucks. Oh, fiddlesticks. Like, I'm like, you know, I was dropping some F-bombs, and uh, I felt like I was, like, you know, cursing in front of, like, my dad when I was 12 years old or something. Yeah. Um, like, like feeling like I had to watch my mouth. Like, he's very – Dropping, he's, he's dropping motherfuckers very, very left goody, and goody, right. Goody. Oh, motherfucker. So then Mikey oh, offers him. Mikey offers him the vape. He said, hey, coach, you want a rip of this? Yo. Uh, <laughs> hold on dude. real quick. We got a special Uh-oh. appearance. This is a special appearance. Oh, man. shit. Hey, man. It's hey, Fairway. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hello. Look at him. Look at his... <laughs> he's, he's, trying to, 
He's trying to figure it out, isn't he? He's trying to figure out something. He just wants to to watch. He doesn't want to even jump on. He just wants to watch from the couch. He's acting like he's acting like uh, he can't hear us. I'll pop him up. If he wants to hop back on, I'll let him. He He knows he needs like light, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, he was leaving. Turn a light on. He was leaving clubs all over the place Saturday, too. <laughs> Yo, I got to send you that video of him <laughs> bowing to me. I forgot about that. Yeah. That was he funny lost, shit. He <laughs> lost three clubs on Saturday. Hank lost two on Sunday. He had to go back for <laughs> These fucking guys. It's like little kids that had fucking leashes to them. You know what I mean? They sniff oh too God. much glue and they fucking... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jay. It's now they're just a mess. They have no idea. Like I'm like, fair way. But like... I always put my club near the flag stick, so I know at least someone's going to see it. Like, whenever we pull the pin and we put the flag down, my wedge is usually somewhere in that vicinity. These guys throw it in the raw off. They throw it up in the, near the car in the woods. Some, sometimes they walk right over it and fucking continue on. I leave but, most of my – I try to leave most of my stuff in the way of, like, going to the cart. Yeah, always. So I know I have to walk by it if I put it somewhere. I know Anthony's definitely lost a bunch of clubs in his day. Um, I, I'm doing better. I do better nowadays. <laughs> I haven't lost yes. a club in a while. Lately, um, he's been, lately he's been having an issue with club head covers. The club head covers is worse. Yeah, I mean, yeah. My driver, dude, my, my driver head he's, covers in somebody's car. You got to get in a routine of leaving it in the same spot. Something, man. Something. Yeah, it's tough. You gotta, yep. He's back. Yo, yo Fairway. He's like a, there's like a ghost or something. Bear way. Bear way. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. Oh, ya. my God. So. <laughs> he's the best. So gonna Raj, I'm uploading this video right now. I'm uploading this video, and I'm going to bring it onto the screen so we can all watch it here. Of, what is uh, it? Fairway. You'll see. It'll all take right. a few seconds. Fairway, It'll your house lights, seconds. not your phone. Turn, some, turn a light on in your house. Hey, man. <laughs> Hey, I Fairway Mike, it. I have a Lombardi to sell you. You want a Lombardi? Yeah, yo, yo, you know who needs a Lombardi? Who? Hank, Hank needs a new putter. Oh, no. Yeah, he does. He's got that old. He loves that thing, though, no, Jay. I get it. That's how <laughs> that, thing is, Nike that shit should be in a fucking museum by now. Yeah, that shit's shot, but he <laughs> loves it. What the hell happened here? Dude, here it is. dude my, my new Lomb- Lombardi is pretty nice, man. I just got to get it regripped. Yeah, yeah I like the, it a lot. That's what I think. I want a black. I got the red grip on mine. I think once I get the black grip on there, I'll, I'll use it a lot more. But I'm just yeah. – I, I have to wait because I'm so comfortable with my uh, Nike putter that I've had for so long that – and I'm putting good with it that I don't really right. want to change. I was is so Mike there? Is, is, what's he, is he sleeping? There he is. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. What's hey, up, man? Fairway? What's up, brother? What do you want to – what do you oh, have, really? moon? Is he alive? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, hey. You look like you're in a. You look like you're in a coffin. <laughs> What's up, man? He looks comfy. Is he okay? Oh, oh yeah, really? Like... Do, we need, do we need to check <laughs> on him? What do you do? He's just trying to. I removed him. Oh, he's just trying to watch. God, he's just God. trying to watch the podcast. What are we doing? Is that he's just trying to watch it? He think he's not. He doesn't want to talk. <laughs> Is that what he's really doing? Yeah, he's just trying to watch it. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh God. <laughs> when that creep comes onto your podcast. Oh. Goodbye. Put put the video Stop up, it. man. <laughs> Hold on. This what is got, almost done, guys. That's this like when we got hacked. Done. It's what? like us getting. It's like we got hacked and someone. You don't think it was him? Fairway. Oh no, it was one hundred percent fairway. <laughs> yeah, we're just joking for like the clip yeah. head part that of it. That is great. <laughs> Gotta have a good caption to on, it. Anthony. Full look at it. <laughs> I'm sending. I'm sending it to myself. We're almost there, guys. You're doing good, Ant. We're proud of you. Yeah. No. no, no. So what right. about like Sunday, Rog? I'll I be right breathe. back. Uh, yeah. So me and Jeff will talk about Sunday real quick. So Sunday, besides me getting off to a fucking terrible start, um, here's the other scorecard. Mike Kirk, Ant, Matt. So the only birdies in that group <laughs> on Saturday were. Uh, Coach, coach had both birdies. Oh, he birdied 18. Big shot, huh? Big shot. But Sunday, Jay, let's see. I shot my probably my worst round of the year, dude, was a 95. That was tough. Like, I mentally, after those two eights, I was 
mentally defeated. Like, I knew there was no bouncing back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew. I was like, yo, I just really, two holes just ruined my whole day. And yeah. from, from that point on, I was just kind of fucking, all right, let's get out of here today. But, and then I um, shot, you know, I shot the worst 88 on Saturday. Followed I it up. I shot the worst 87 on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Literally doing the same bullshit. Snap, snap. Yeah. Oh, what was your fairways? Uh, 20%. <laughs> Gers yeah. at like 20%. Just and playing it's fucking terrible. Holes, like six, I ended bro. You three, get... three, so that saved the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, you I'm got, back, guys. I'm back. It's some, uploading. You guys you ready for this? Money. Hold on one second. You got some skins money too on uh, on Sunday. On 18, yeah. So on 18, I hit like my first good drive of the day. It was probably like 260 because I think I had 30 left to the flag in the front. Yeah. I think it played around. I probably played like 290 the other day. Yeah, so probably yeah. like 260. I hit a straight with a little baby draw, and then I hit a 60 spinner from the fairway from like 30 and i left it to like six feet it might have been like i thought it was gonna be like eight, yeah, six, eight but eight. It, dude this thing broke three feet i think and i fucking made it bro i thought was this sick it should be on one of your guys's cameras when you i got it live. i got it on my dude if you clip that you should clip that i'll put it with that yeah and then there was uh 17 jay me and you both stuck in close to the pin for for some birdie looks um, yeah, I had like six, I had six feet or eight feet on that one too, and I just missed it. Burning edges. That's the thing. Like Fear Park, it's a pace putt. Everything's pace. Like mm -hmm. you don't, you don't hit the pace right, you're fucked. So, and let's see what you got. And the winners on, let's see, the winners on Saturday were Bob and Coach. The winners uh, for first place, second place was Steve and Jr. They got the, they got hooked up uh, from the goodie bag. And then last place, we had three scores of 100. So, with that, Mikey's crushing that right now. With that, I couldn't make anybody wear the Lombardi shirt, so I held up. Um, and then Sunday, high score was Kev, 103. Fairway, 97. Me with the 95. Steve's keeping in the 80s, which I like to see, 89. And then uh, Hank with the 82 for the low score. <laughs> Hank. Hank was playing good, so and he fucking lit me up on Friday. I gotta give Hank a shout out. we give credit where it's due. That dude was shooting darts. He was making every putt. Like I was two holes in, and I go, I am. I used fairway's favorite line. I am so fucked. So <laughs> it was over. But and what do you got first? You got a video first. What do you got? Yeah, you ready for this? Can you pull it up on your end? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anthony, how the uh -oh. hell you been, brother? Nice Good, to buddy. See you, man. How you guys hitting them? How you guys hitting them? I love your Good. shows, man. I'm playing 12 over. How you hitting them? I got a 33 going into seven. Or going into hey, I love your eight. shows, baby. Thanks, brother. Love Good you too, job, man. man. Love you too, man. First part, <laughs> the first part, though, you got to see. Watch. Ready, real quick. <laughs> He's fucking bowing. Bowing to me. I love it. He's the he goes, he goes, hey. Fairway. He goes, hey, man. Hey. And then he goes, he bows to you. That was great. Yeah. Was great. He, he, I give him his, his club back after I find it. And he's yeah. like, hey, come here, man. Gives me a big hug and shit. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, he's the best. He's fucking great, dude. He's so Mike, much you fun over to there? You sleeping? Yeah, he's probably. I see him in, the, in there. I don't know if he wants to jump in or not. I don't know what he's saying though. I Let see his head. <laughs> hey man, there he is. Hey man, Mikey. What's up, Fairway? <laughs> I don't. Maybe his microphone's not working. He's probably got his headphones in, so it's not going to connect. He's got to take his headphones out. <laughs> This guy. <laughs> uh, I'll leave him there for a second. We'll see what happens if his microphone kicks in. But yeah, he's the best, man. We'll be out there Wednesday, Thursday, and then we got our last last week of the league Friday. Jay, where are you at in the standings? Um, I'm not Dude. sure. I just put in for like two makeups, so I gotta wait probably a few days. Nice. Yeah, I got me, Bob, and Hank are all right on the right on top. So we'll see what happens. Hey, it must be nice playing the B flight, bro. 
I don't play good on Fridays. I shot a 46 for, on Friday. I do not play good on Friday nights. It's terrible. It's my worst round every week. Friday I didn't shoot a 36, on. though, this year in league play, so I'm happy with that. I was even par. You got to get that swing back, brother. Get that swing back. We'll I was wrap, killing that day. Let's wrap this up. We'll be back on uh, for Friday episode for a preview of this week. Going to do the two tee times. Uh, Mike, you doing the amateur tour this week? If I need a guy, I'll hit you up. I got to check with the boys, but if I need a guy. Uh, yeah, hit me up. Let me know. I'll, okay. I don't know. I'm up in the air. Okay. And there might be, um, maybe, we got to talk about it, but there might be a new, like, studio coming. Yeah. Not waiting to see, though. We'll talk and see what we want to do. Yeah, we got to is, see. Is, is it still going to be Hey Man Studios, or is it going to get a new? Uh... It might get a new one. It might get a new name. We'll have to start fresh, maybe. Start fresh. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to get a new one. We'll figure something out, though. But, yeah, we might hook something up. Uh We'll see what happens here, but it'd be pretty dope. To... <clears throat> this works, though, like for the recaps, this is perfect. Yeah. Like once, once a week to get to sit down with the boys, like the upstate shit you guys do going over to Mikey's. Um, that's that's really what I want to do. Because I think it's especially if it's in Troy, Jay, they can't say shit. There's no travel in <laughs> half of them. It's all right there. Yeah. So hopefully um, it's going to be big enough to where we can get like a big – like four person like table where we could sit in like a high chair, get the mics coming down, yep. and just be kicking in there. Yep, set it up and leave it up for sure. We, we got to figure out how to get like a camera set up. Yeah, to, to where... switch back and forth to like the yeah. TV and stuff. It's, we got right. to get, the, get the board. So I, the XG hooked me up and told me how to like what the what we need to do all that. I have it. I saved it into my phone somewhere. So I'll, I'll take a look at it. It's just so a couple maybe of, soon. It, maybe. It's like you know, three, two, three weeks. Be on the lookout. Man. So, we got shit cooking. Guys. We got shit cooking. What do you guys got cooking over there, Upstate? Upstate, man. We got a lot cooking, man. We've been growing. We've been doing big things. Uh, growing with Lombardi. Growing with Squares. Um, this week, we Dude, have... them Squares are so dope. Sorry They're, to cut you off, man. They look unbelievable on you, too, Mike. They look super sexy. I those, must are, say. those are fresh with the red laces, too, Mike. They look those really awesome, nice. Dude. They look super fresh. Uh, go check our link we, out uh, for any <laughs> discount. Uh, use Anthony Farina for Lombardi for a discount code. Um, but, yeah, man, we've been having some awesome guests on. I got a whole lineup of guests. I'm basically booked out through July. August, I have Anne Lig- Liguary. Uh, I just booked her she's the golf voice for w fan new york city she was just hanging out with yep. keith hernandez mikey so we'll be able to pick her brand yeah, i remember apart. looking at her uh her instagram yeah you know, you know, she was with hanging out with keith so i uh, mean the the longer this thing's been going on i'm having some cool ass people on as guests and uh, i'm getting more the... getting more comfortable on the mic which is um is really uh important for the listeners because i know they uh they're enjoying me more and more now because me and mikey are busting more balls and we're just being uh, more natural instead of a script it's it's been a lot of fun yeah yo, jay you gotta listen to the last i had a laughing fit on the last episode so, <laughs> so i don't know if jay knows so he Ant had me read like this course review thing and it was karnuski but like i've never seen like i didn't know what the hell it was i didn't know if it was a course i didn't know anything about it right but i've never seen it like how it was written, so I'm like, yo, Ann, what word is this? Like, I'm not saying, like, embarrassing myself. Like, I can't <laughs> right, right. what word is this, right? So, we had a laugh and fit there. And then, like, a couple weeks later, someone's reading something, and then they, we blunder there. So, yesterday, or last episode, Ant's reading and, like, stumbles, and I just fucking lose it, dude. I'm like, yo, we just can't read, bro. We're 40 years old, and we just can't fucking yo, read. <laughs> I had to turn around reading this thing, because these two guys were fucking losing it. They were <laughs> yo, crying. The thing. Me and Mikey feed off of each other. Like, I'll start <laughs> laughing about something, I'll start laughing, and it's fucking dude, over. Dude, it was uh-uh. so funny. I couldn't get myself together for a good five minutes, man. Those laughs, though, those laughs are good, bro. When you're like, <laughs> stuck in the laugh, yeah. bro. Oh, my God. I could not stop. Yeah, <laughs> it, was it was so fun. Good. I've been having a great time with this whole thing, though. It's awesome. So who's, yeah. uh, who's, who's your guest that gets released? Well, this will be out tomorrow. So who's your guest? Who uh, uh, Life, off Life Medals, man. Uh, this dude makes, makes um, ball markers for players all over the world. And I... Uh, some awesome stories. I'm really excited for my listeners to hear this one. Yeah, he was uh 
He 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 actually made one for Rory, didn't he? Yep. Yep. Who, 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 sure okay. did. And it's uh, uh we got some I video was proof. I just gonna say, what was it? A fucking a noose. <laughs> we got some, <laughs> we got some video proof of, of Rory using it. Uh, there's a couple other um, um, PGA Big players PGA that people. Use, use his his regularly um, as like a superstitious thing. Now I'm not going to ruin the episode, but uh, yeah, actually, is this when is this getting released? Uh, I might do it tomorrow. I might do it Wednesday. Well, my this one's getting released tomorrow, dude. Yeah. One of them is Tommy Fleetwood J. Yeah, this dude, so. So real quick, this is a cool story told. So he was, he's personal friends with Tommy Fleetwood's caddy. He said, I'm friends with a lot of the caddies, but not actually the players. So I guess Tommy Fleetwood like went on a stretch of like missing the cut three or four rounds. And uh, the the uh, his caddy was like, you want to try my lucky? Uh, I've been shooting really well with this thing. You want to try my lucky ball marker that this dude made me from Long Island? He's like, sure. And it said, fuck bogeys on it. That's all it said was fuck bogeys. Fleetwood goes out and shoots a 63 with that ball marker. Doesn't want to use it. He said, you ain't getting this ball marker back. <laughs> so it's a picture of Tommy Fleetwood using the dude's ball marker. Um, it's pretty cool, man. It's, it's, it's going to be cool. it's gonna be a good episode. He lives right on Beth Page, so he's got the whole breakdown of Beth Page and shit, too. So it's yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Pretty dope. But yeah, it's our way up. on the Beth Page. Let's do it. That's a public course, man. We can go down. Oh, there. we could get on. It's not getting on. Isn't it's the just problem. getting a tea time. It's getting a tea time, dude. I'd have to. You have to like. Stay, they said you have to like be up to like at midnight, and like literally in the first like seven seconds, it's bucked for that day you wanted at. And, literally, and he's got it down to a science. Yeah, I'm Yo, sure he knows people too. I can imagine because how fast it, I had to book my own tea time for this Sunday for Father's Day, and to book those two tea times at nine, nine o'clock ish. Opposed to like the seven o'clock ones were going like that. I was sitting there clicking as fast as I could at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> to make sure I got the two tea times for something. It's crazy. It was nuts, dude. I was like, holy shit. And like, my, yeah, so, I had it all set up to where I just had to click it and go. Click it and yeah, go. dude. Because Beth Page is only $70 to play as well. Yeah. Is that the one where you like camp outside? No. Um... I know there's one where people say they have to like camp and shit like the day before and like Fuck park that. on the like the. Like park in the place, but you have to like sleep in your car, and then it's like first come first serve. It might yeah, be I black. Think... No, I think the, this one. I think Beth Page Black you can do online, but there's no cart or anything. You gotta hire a caddy. caddy. Um, it's a whole Ugh. whole thing. Dude. He said, he, didn't he say caddy. something on the on the podcast of that that the red course is the one that everybody <laughs> is more preferable to, yeah. or something like that? Yeah, like. But if you're going lo- to Beth Page, you gotta play black. Right, <laughs> I guess you get mean, if you want to be miserable. <laughs> yeah, but that's the challenge. Like you see these hey. guys on TV doing it. All right, where, the, where do you stack up? You can, this is one sport where you can actually play it and see where you stack up amongst the best. It's not like you can go out and play basketball with LeBron and see how good. What do you think you would be honest? What do you think a legitimate score? What do you think you would shoot there? Be honest. If you're playing your best, one twenty. Yeah, playing your best. What would you shoot there? One hundred. No, I still think in the high hundreds. Yeah, there's a hundred. Dude, the first, range. the first cut of raw, the first cut of raw, you ain't getting out of. You literally, it's there's the first cut of raw, and then there's tall fast you. And the first cut of raw is like how, how many, deep. how many balls do you think you're gonna go? All of them. Well, that's why he said you got a like couple to dozen. <laughs> He said you need to have a caddy <laughs> for that reason, though, is because caddies will exactly. find your ball in the fescue and they'll find your ball for you. They're trained to uh, watch your ball and follow it. Um, there's not. He said there's really it's not the greens at Beth Page. That's not what kills you. It's the uh, it's the rough, first rough. first cutter off in the fescue and getting well, off the tee. But if you're playing your best, you might not have that problem that much. <laughs> yeah, that helped out the other day. Even par this year so far. <laughs> that, maybe, the other day maybe. that helped out me being a spotter for Jay on 17. He went right. I was standing at the top of the hill filming those guys after you guys went. And I went right. Walked, he right, found it in a second. Right to yeah. his ball. Boom. Oh, it's Where, also very long. Beth Page. It's also from the right. whites, which is like not the tips. Just right. from the whites, it's like 70. It's, uh, I think it's 7,000 yards. It's like 69 something. And That's it's. Deep. It's it's dude. It's like he said. You're basically playing 
like par fours, you're hitting it in with like, you know, your hybrids instead of your wedges or instead of your seven irons. Right. You said, right. you know, your second shots, everyone is like a hybrid or a wood or five or four iron. So that's where it's tough too. It's long. So, yeah. But yeah, um, the other thing I want to say real quick, and what we got to do more of is that double camera shit where we link up. And you guys got to figure that out, man. That right. Was pretty good though. Antony's so, Antony's was fucking sideways. <laughs> like at he one said, it was a mess. Point. It was cool, Dude, but I, I, I swear to God, I thought I was going cross-eyed. Yours was out of focus <laughs> at one point to where you couldn't even fucking see nothing, and his is sideways. I'm like looking at it going cross-eyed. I'm kind of trying to listen. To, I'm like, wow, dude, you guys are a mess. You guys are like you were just big. I think it was fine. <laughs> now nah, we'll but, figure it out, though. But like having the tee shot, and then you can see where the land. It was like, cool. That's, that's it was cool. a cool concept. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. So once you guys decide to go full time, rooting Kirk on, up, we can do that. Yep. It was cool that you were rooting Kirk on on his shot and you were over it. You know what I mean? That was cool yep. as fuck. Yeah, shit's dope. So, yeah, because I can be away from the ball and talk and commentate from the other side right. of the green and, and all that, too. So, no doubt. But, uh, Ant, let, or Mikey, let them know where they can find you guys, man. UpstateGolfGuys.com. That's it. Piece of cake. What's the Instagram? That's it. What's Upstate the Instagram? UpstateGolfGuys. UpstateGolfGuys podcast. Podcast, all right. And Jay, what's your Instagram handle? Let's get your follower game up, bro. Um, I change it like once a week. I know, bro. Every time <laughs> I put, yo, so I started putting. I don't know what it is right now. I just changed I start, it a Jay, few days ago, probably. What is it, Jay? Jay? I think it's like Jr. Golf's PPP. Yeah. P's. Yo, so four started, P's or three P's. I started putting him in the description, Stop. but now it doesn't even register because he changes it every fucking week. I'm like, get the dude, fuck I'm done. I did it three. I did it three three times and gave up. I was like, "All right, I'm done." You I'm should see done. my YouTube. I've done it. I do the same thing there. I change it every week. It's sick. It's sick. Well, appreciate <laughs> you boys jumping like on. You know, no doubt. Let's see what see what one sticks. Yeah. Sure. All right, boys. I appreciate you jumping on. Wrap up. All here. right, guys. An hour or so, Mikey, and I'll see you uh, Wednesday. Well, I won't see you because you got the in house guest. So I'll talk to you guys on Wednesday. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Jay, I'll reach out to you. We'll probably do a Thursday episode to drop on Friday for the preview. All right, brother. Keep them straight. No three pots, baby. That's it. We'll talk to you soon. Later. Peace. You can. It will start. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Oh, you guys are all fucking nutty. You were watching. <laughs> Hey, man, you've been watching the whole time. Why didn't you jump No, in? It, No, I came in about in the half, in the middle, and I seen my picture up there, and it was going wacko or something, some fucking thing that Anthony was doing. You know, Anthony, right? Yeah. So, but I didn't see it. I couldn't hear it. <laughs> okay. Are you just hearing yourself when you're doing the bowing down to him for, for finding your club or whatever? Oh, that's the, that's Mike, the shit this. that was going on. Mike, yeah. watch. Ready? Mike, ready? Yeah, man. <laughs> Anthony, how the hell you been, brother? Nice Good, to see buddy. you, man. How you guys hitting them? How you guys hitting them? I love your show, man. I have a question, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really watch my, you really listen to my show? Yeah. Yeah, I, all I the time, man. I love it. Are you really a fan? I'm a follower of you, man. I love See, it. See, we support, man. man. The CCP supports it. I love it. I love you, man. I love you. You guys are... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit, man. Fairway. I, lo I love that you. That was a good way. show, though, what I've seen. Thank you. Thank you. Fairway, I have Thanks, a question. Thanks, bro. Fairway. Yeah. You ain't, you ain't smoking no crazy wacky weed from, like, strangers, are you, these days? I work no. Hard. Why did you? How did you hear about that? What do you mean? How did I hear about that? I was with you. You don't remember? Oh. No, <laughs> you wasn't <laughs> with me when we were with Hank. <laughs> not the, it, it not was when you time. did it the next time. The second ah, so, time you so there was two episodes. <laughs> yeah, hey. dude. Hank almost died it. first, and then fucking no, we went smoked the same weed. Yo, I, I got another. You, guys... I, you know what? I got another joint of that, and I. I <laughs> 
There was only one person I'd rather give it to, and that'd be you, Anthony. Oh, my God. <laughs> you oh, my you God. Really? Make sure that's you like, play yourself out in a garage or something. You know what I mean? That's Don't like be hanging Walter, with That's like the Walter White with the uh, ri rising, ri rising cigarette. That's fucking hey. poison. You're waiting to give it to somebody special. Hey, Raj, can you see him and Mike on a, doing that fucking joint? <laughs> Oh, oh no. my God! No, I see Holy that shit! I smoke that whole fucking joint right, right down to my toes, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you oh, believe that? Two Yo, joints man. and you would two hits and you wouldn't be able to walk, brother. Probably not. I, I believe it, bro. That's crack. <laughs> Nobody still knows what it was. We it was don't want to know. It was probably fucking salvia or some shit. Oh, no, it wasn't he just I Mike was just the look on <laughs> Fairway's face. <laughs> Boy, hey man, I'm watching both. Josie Wells, so I gotta go, man. You guys know what that show is? Josie you Wells. ever hear of that? I've yeah, heard of it, but I, it's an early it's like Julia Roberts in that movie. Yeah. Let's see. Clean Eastwood movie, Josie Wells. Oh no, no, you love the old westerns and shit, though. Yeah, uh, see now I know you did it, right? Hey Mike. What? Yeah. Have you ever seen Debbie Does Dallas? Uh, hey, here's another question. Um, you didn't answer me. You don't who's answer. putting them fucking hoochie coochie cards on my fucking golf no, bag, man? Fairway, I got fucking one too, Brad. Bro. Brad's, Brad's Brad. doing it. <laughs> it was fairway, I got one of those cards too, man. Hoochie, hoochie coochie cards. I got one <laughs> yeah. too, man. It's a hundred bucks. It's a hundred bucks, man. Yo, the that's girl a, I can get. That's a bargain. Yeah, the girl I can get was eighty. I was surprised to see this one was a hundred. Hey, hey Mike, I heard they have dirty toes though. I heard their toes are a little dirty. Well, I don't know. That's a, that's I don't do toes, man. You don't do toes, yeah, bro. twenty. You should see this girl too, man. Mike, she is nice, man. <laughs> I even showed her to Steve the other day. I said, "What do you think?" He goes, eighty dollars." Steve needs a girl like that, though. You know, we're, we're getting there with Steve. He needs to find wifey there, so. Yeah. Oh, you, do you want me to rob and tug? Yeah. yeah. Like Yo, Mike and Anthony, why don't you guys have Fairway on as a guest on the Upstate Golf Guys? Bingo. <laughs> Great idea. You're right. speaking for me? I, I'm, I'm telling them, I'm speaking for them to, to have you on as a guest on their podcast. I think it would be a Fairway, I'd like to formally ask uh, you. I need money, on. man. Money. How much? <laughs> I, I mean, he gets paid. Dickwad gets paid. How come I don't get no money? <laughs> Better yet, I'll tell you two guys I have on a five castle with you, man. Me and Steve. Ooh. Me, Steve, and Mark. There you go. Me, Steve, and Mark. Did we have a blast the last time, man? Oh, yeah, man. You would fall off your chair laughing, man. <laughs> That's it. You guys set it up. Get him in there. Well, we will. We will. I My man, Anthony. Link me up with Fairway. Or uh, let me up with Fairway's group on Wednesday, will you? Well, I think Wednesday. we're only gonna do the one group, man. Well, we got I got two booked. Oh, shit, we'll fill oh, that up. Shit, shit. Oh, this is a smaller fucker. <laughs> <laughs> but shit. shit, Mikey, you are bad, man. Blasa. I think all Mikeys are bad, bro. <laughs> we'll get we'll get Steve out there, so we could probably get. I mean, we could probably get eight. I guess. We'll get eight, brother. We'll what eight. Wednesday? For Wednesday, yeah. <laughs> get Ant out there, Ant the Cartman, Ant. He gets out at three o'clock though, so if he's not uh, working, then maybe, maybe if he's not working Wednesday, we could probably get him out there. We'll see. I'll talk. I'll talk to him when I see him. Text All right. Him. All right. I'm fair, going, man. I gotta right. go. I'm getting in alive. Thanks for coming on, Fairway. We appreciate hey, it. Hey, we'll see you guys, man. Peace out. All right. Fairway. Later. All right. Later, bros. Bye. I want to be out. Really appreciate the boys jumping on. Fairway jumping on at the end there for a little bonus segment. Uh, before we wrap things up, let's give a shout out to some sponsors. We got golfercbd.com, golfercbd USA on the Instagram. Make sure you guys check them out. Use PPP10 to save yourself 10% at checkout. Golfer CBD, excuse me. Uh, affects the body's receptors that manage our thought process, motor activity, resistance to stress and pain, as well as the basic systems of the human body, such as the cardiovascular, immune, respiratory, and muscular functions. 
Golfer CBD may influence a golfer's pain perception, response to inflammation, and perception of various sensations, such as stress. Golfer CBD may positively affect the golfer's mood, motor functions, and keep it the way we react. The re, excuse me, we react to the environment, making golfer CBD an essential tool for every golfer's toolkit. Uh, also, make sure you check out 420 Bliss, located at 740 Hoosick Road in Troy, New York, located right in the Walmart Plaza. Uh, check them out online, 420-bliss.com. They have a delivery service on there as well. And then last but not least, Trouble Off the T, troubleoffthetea.com, promo code RGB, 15% off. Uh, promo code PUFF to buy one, get one free on the polos. And check out the book on Spotify and available on Audible. Written by Marty Minden, narrated by Jake Adams. Uh, from Country Club Adjacent, so make sure you check that out, and we'll catch up with you soon. Later. Is back on Saturday, June 22nd at the Broome County Fairgrounds in Whitney Point. Learn how to use cannabis both medically and recreationally from female leaders. Class spilling talent, meditation, yoga sessions, and more. Plus, stop by the Drink Like a Girl tent to sample New York State craft beer. Camping and glamping options are available. Tickets and info at NewYorkStateCannabisFestival.com. Cannabis curious are encouraged to attend. Must be 20 and over. Hope to see you there.